Hey Geeks, Tim with MajorGeeks.com. Today we're going to go back to the basics. How to download the latest drivers for Windows. Which ones you want to download, how to get them, which way works best. There's a few different ways. We're going to cover all the pros and cons. And feel free to leave a comment with your opinion down below. This page you see here in the background will also be linked to in the description of the video. So please, if you like, follow along. Click the link and you can follow along with me. So the first thing we have to look at is Windows Update. Windows Updates will download the latest drivers. However, they have to go through, which comes up on the list of cons, is WHQL certification. That's Microsoft uh, what is it? Windows Hardware Quality Lab. So the vendor has to submit their drivers to Microsoft and then Microsoft has to approve them and you know make sure they work with everything. Once that's done, they get submitted and then you can download them. And the wheels move a little slowly. So by the time you get the quote unquote latest drivers, they could be weeks to months behind so if you were told to update drivers and you think windows updates doing it because one of the reasons we're doing this video is because updating your drivers is tech support 101 so now you know there's your pros it'll work for most people if you're just using your computer to get emails browse the web you're not doing photography video games you know you can you actually get away with it. you can forget about drivers unless of course as we mentioned you have a problem third-party apps one of our favorite ways, uh, I use Driver Booster. Slim Drivers is good. Snappy Driver Installer or Installer Origin are good. You can click any of those links to get there, or you can click here to browse all the different drivers that we have available, driver updaters. Let's talk about the pros and cons. First off, you can't beat downloading all your drivers. Basically, the program opens up. It says scan, says this is what you need to update. You wait, it updates, you close it, you're all done. What is the cons? Well, some of them offer to install additional programs. We call that either freemium or ad supported. So in some of them, not all of them, some of them you gotta make sure they're not trying to install an additional program and others may offer links to their other programs in the app. We don't think that's too horrible. So that's up to you. The obvious cons here, it's bigger than just being possibly ad supported is sometimes they don't have the latest drivers. You, they're usually pretty pretty good. You usually get most of them, but I've rarely seen them get everything because take in mind, there's got to be thousands of combinations of hardware and millions, millions of drivers available out there. So it can get to be a lot for any company to keep up with. Now there's your computer manufacturer. This is a don't do it section. So I'll skip right to the cons as dumb as that sounds because your computer manufacturer essentially offers reference drivers. So what a reference driver is, we'll probably discuss it more in a little bit, is let's say you have an NVIDIA video card or an Intel motherboard. Those are the guys who put out the drivers and they're reference drivers. So your computer manufacturer may make minor changes to the way it works with their particular computer and even as simple as branding it with their own logos and stuff. So odds are there's really no advantage typically from getting from the computer builder. So the reason for this would be, let's say you've got an older computer running Windows 7 or XP and you need an old driver and you can't find it anywhere, then you can go to the computer manufacturer. That is the best place and situation when you cannot find a driver. There you go. So speaking of which, there's a hardware manufacturer we just discussed. For example, if you have a video card, this isn't everybody, but for the most part, you probably have an Intel, AMD, or NVIDIA video card. Motherboard, you probably have AMD or Intel. Yet, there are hundreds of computer manufacturers who will all offer drivers, which are really, once again, remember, based on the reference driver. So, you can actually, for example, with your video card, there's your NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel. All three of these video card drivers will update your software for your video cards. Intel, there's a good chance you have an Intel board. AMD is still popular. So you can actually get Intel driver and support assistance to do your video drivers. So there you go. And some of the stuff like the GeForce program actually can uh, maximize your games and do more than just update your drivers. Some people love it. Some people hate it. So farther down, we actually just added a list, as you can see here of different places if you want to do it. So the answer to the question is the best way to make sure you have the latest drivers is to always download them individually. Now that can be a little confusing because 
as you can see you'll have USB drivers a lot of different things in there let's take a quick look here and show you device manager so when you come in here this is where it can get a little overwhelming these are basically all drivers but in reality it's good to have a updated sound card driver there are no drivers that you need to download for your hard drives DVD drives they're all built into Windows and they don't have any effect now keyboard and mice of course you might be able to get third-party software with drivers which can be kind of good if you really want to tweak out your keyboard or mouse same with the monitors you can get you can get um, drivers for it but it's not really gonna help you much network adapters are important let's take a quick look so what we're looking at is sound video motherboard network adapters or anything else you have plugged in that requires drivers but those are the big ones right there your network adapter your motherboard video card and your sound card and that's important if you're a gamer photographer even if you're new to it artist you don't want last year's drivers you want the latest drivers all the time for the best performance so all I did here it's not a be-all end-all list but here's some popular computer manufacturers so if you're on the page and you know what kind of video card you have for example you can click on Nvidia and they almost all work the same so once you get over there just head in there and look for support or downloads or drivers and go in and get it whatever it is that you need so once again we're looking around here's your products gaming entertainment etc they get a little confusing every here and every here's your menu so you're looking for stuff like that there's your drivers so typically it'll say you know support download and speaking of which let me show you real quickly for those of you who feel they need to go to your computer manufacturer because there are situations they're all a little different too so you'd have to go to your computer manufacturer go to their page let's say hp.com and most of them will want you to type in your computer brand sometimes they have auto detect so if you do have to do this keep in mind as well I forgot to mention earlier most of the time if you go to the computer manufacturer to download drivers you're gonna end up finding out that their drivers expire after a year meaning if your computer is over a year old don't waste your time once again they have a menu here so you can kind of look up your computer you can go to support software and drivers and they're all very very similar so look for something similar to that and that will get you where you got to go so you can see printer laptop desktop and again as you move forward you'll either be asked there's your serial number let us detect your product and they're all once again just a little bit different so and further down sound we just linked to a handful of them once again there's more sound manufacturers probably than many of the other ones but there's asus creative labs m audio real tech which is one of the most popular sound cards out there right now and of course peripherals which would mean your keyboard and your mouse these are most of the big guys kensington logitech etc so you just get in there and look for your product you can also just google for it so and that route wraps it up i hope we answered all your questions if you haven't played around with drivers before it's not that difficult once again you should be okay with a third-party app it just makes life easy so if you if you're really not comfortable go I usually do the driver booster and then I check for a video card update once in a while it tends to be a little behind on my Nvidia drivers and if you scroll down to the bottom you'll find our similar links I think some of the stuff will interest you how to back up and restore your drivers always handy how to stop Windows update from downloading drivers on Windows 10 we discussed that in the beginning of the video and that is how you can stop it from doing that and a little bit more about that WHQL we talked about earlier the Windows hardware quality labs and even how to use driver verifier manager to troubleshoot driver issues very handy as well so there you go so we thank you as always for watching if we helped you out click subscribe share it with a couple of friends it's always appreciated and we will hopefully see you next time around